You may know this about me already, but I am a holiday fanatic. And one of the things I look forward to every year is decorating my Easter table. But this year, I wanted to keep it really simple and put together a table that was bright, easy, and beautiful. So let's hop to it. I'm starting out with a centerpiece, and this is such an easy trick. You can use it again and again. All you need are two different size vessels, a little one that's gonna go inside of the bigger one. So what I did with this one is I took some clear tape and I made a grid like this on the top, and that's gonna hold our beautiful tulips in place because tulips are gorgeous, but they are notoriously droopy, so this makes them have a little bit more form and structure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this inside of my bigger vase, and then I'm gonna add some water, and then in between my two layers, I'm gonna put in these beautiful pastel faux eggs. And what I love about these is you can use them again and again for all kinds of decorating all around the house during Easter. So I'm basically just gonna move my vase like this and sort of tuck them in. And then you can kind of move them around, orient them a little bit so that you get the prettiest side up front. But how easy is that? So pretty and so fun and reusable. So now for my tulips, I decided to go for a very monochromatic look. So I like to kind of just line it up right next to it so I can kind of get an idea of the height and then just trim and you're gonna try to trim at an angle like that. By using the tape, it really allows you to create a nice composition. It keeps them in their form. Look at how beautiful that turned out. I just love the eggs and the tulips. So fabulous. I'm gonna go get my silverware and keep setting the table. One easy way to remember your placement when you're setting the table is you wanna do your forks on the left and then your knives and spoons on the right. So fork has four letters, knife and spoon both have five, and you always wanna put the baby ones on the outside, start with the smaller and work your way in. How adorable are these pair of chicks? So super cute and they're wearing bunny ears. And this one just hatched. I mean, it's got the nest and everything. And of course, you worked so hard on dyeing those eggs, why not display them right on your Easter table? So I had some leftover eggs for my centerpiece and I thought, why not turn them into a super cute placeholder for all of my guests using napkins? I'm gonna make them into little bunny ears. So I'm starting out with a square napkin like this. And all I'm gonna do is just fold it into a diagonal, like that, and then just roll it up. And then you fold them up like this so that they look like little bunny ears. And you're just gonna tuck in your egg. And with a little bit of twine, just tie around. Tie it up like that. I mean, how cute is that? Little floppy ears. Okay, there's our last bunny. And these are such simple, fun, and beautiful ideas that'll help you get your Easter table dressed a lot faster than you'll be able to dress up your own kids. For more entertaining ideas, check out the rest of my holiday how-tos.